Hello guys, today I've decided to share with you my top 5 short films that I have directed with Mau Mau Arts. Number 5 on the list is Salama Monologues, which was not so much of a short film, but uh, why this is a special for me is because it was a project that was based on actual stories we collected from the public, stories about mental health and the struggles that people go through on a daily basis. and. Um, some of these stories uh, were even personal and they affect even myself and I felt a very close connection uh, writing the scripts in ways that protects the sanctity of those who submitted their stories as well as doing justice to the issue which is mental health awareness. Number four on the list is Sanaya Pa. Sanaya Pa was uh, done as an artistic project. It was part of a multimedia project I had envisioned. And uh, there were actually meant to be two versions. There was meant to be a dance version I did with Rene. And there was also meant to be a short film version which was, would, have been, would have been a dramatization of what is, is seen in the dance version. And uh, Sanaya Pao was actually very dear to me because um, I was exploring music. I was exploring how music um, can be used as a, as a medium with, the, with film and the visuals and also choreography. I was trying to bring all these elements together into a product that is pleasing and calming to watch. So Sanaya Pa was meant to be a calming kind of short film, something that one watches when they want to relax. And it went on to win the Sondeka Awards in 2019 for dance. So yeah, Sanaya Pa is my number four uh, of my best short films. Number three is uh, Moshe, which I did actually in 2020. Moshe is, means home in Agikuyu. It's uh, based on uh, the coronavirus pandemic and I was actually challenged to write a script that did justice to this, but at the same time not losing the art of filmmaking in storytelling and I decided to go with the genre of fantasy and dark humor in bringing attention to what is otherwise a very serious issue that is coronavirus. So Moshe is my number three. Number two is Karata which basically is Sheng or even maybe Swahili for cards or poker. Karata is actually a very important story and a very important short film because it was based on actual incidences that happened in this country a few years ago. Uh, it's themed on extrajudicial killings. Um, this for me was more than just a short film, it was something uh, more of activism through the arts. And uh, writing this script um, was not easy for me, I had to kind of balance security issues with uh, also conveying what is intended and trying to get the message out there and getting people aware that such issues need to be dealt with. And my number one uh, best uh, short film yet that I've directed or basically done everything is Taifa Tukufu. Again, this is not withstanding the fact that um, it's very dear to me and personal because it talks about my father's story, which is a true story. Taifa Tukufu is actually a prequel uh, to a feature film I'm writing and hopefully going to produce this year in 2021. Taifa Tukufu is a very somber kind of story and it has uh, mixed feelings. It evokes a sense of mixed feelings to whoever watches it. Um, the powers that may be may not like this film so much because it criticizes the government's inability to take action on, on, on cases that have been passed by the judiciary and um, this is one of them where the government has done nothing despite a court order and also it has been snubbed by a number of festivals because of the nature of the themes discussed. So. Taifa Tukufu is my best short film yet, uh, not so much because of um, anything uh, aesthetic, though that is there, but Taifa Tukufu remains one of my dearest projects and I, um, I urge you to keep an eye out on the feature film that is coming soon that is based on this storyline and that's my top five.